93.3 KDKB, it's a Sludge Nation. 602-260-9393 is how you reach out to us. And the uh, the wonderfulness is, oh, wow, that was quick. He just, like, sprung in. Yes. Yes! Johnny Knoxville's here! Hello! Hello. How you doing, brother? And Jeff Tremaine is here, too, of course, the director of all the Jackass, too, and... uh, and all Jackass, mo- Jackass movies, the Jackass the show, all that stuff. Thanks for coming in. Thank you, guys. The last time I had you in a studio was years ago. This is in Chicago, where you brought the whole crew out. And uh, this was when it was full on, right when the Motley crew uh, behind the music came out. Right. So Steve-O comes in like, and then says, oh, man, we've just been injecting Jack all night because we saw behind the music. Because <laughs> Nikki Six, and we tried to snort ants, because Ozzy had said that in the same one. Oh, yeah. And then he got dropped his pants and then stapled his nuts right to his leg in front of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was red hot back then. <laughs> and then the only thing that was saving grace that day, because it got really bad, and then uh, it was a show, like you guys were doing stuff in between like a concert thing we were doing. Yeah. So Chuck D from Public Enemy walked in. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you're, you probably don't remember, it was like I six totally years know. ago. Yeah, like, yeah. Wait, I got to introduce Public Enemy. That yeah, 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 yeah. Get a little closer to the mic there, brother. And, um, oh. but yeah, it's, uh, and then that, then you, all of a sudden you guys all like, I saw, in your eyes, I saw who you guys really were. Because when Chuck D walked in, you all just stopped and like, Chuck, what's up? You became little kids again, and it was awesome. Yeah, and because stopped. we're huge fans. Yeah. The public enemy yeah. really, really oh. affected me. You stopped hitting people in the nuts, and it was wonderful then for a little bit. And but then yes. Chuck left and you started it all again, eating light bulbs and stuff like that. <laughs> I think Everyone so. behave. Chuck D's here. Everyone behave. Flavor <laughs> Flav's here. And he was scared of you guys, too. He's like, he loved the show, and he was like, I don't, no, get those guys, get those white boys away from me, man. I ain't doing nothing with them. Well, I think that's... Flavor was in jail at the time. He yeah, was. yeah, he was. And he was like a... Man, you flavor would love you guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, think I remember because he said like, I said like, you know, what does Flav really do? He goes, I don't know. I just know he has to be there. He has to be there on stage or whatever. And so I was like, Is this, we're gonna miss Flav tonight. But that's great. You do remember that because he yeah. was in jail at the time. So Jackass 3D. Uh, why should we see this? Why should we see this over all the other Jackass movies and Jackass show? Which, by the way, have been the most brilliant of brilliance in the past decade. Well, I think uh, the 3D just takes it to a whole nother level. You're right in the middle of the scene with this man, like or the prank, whatever. Like for the Beehive Tetherball, we're playing Tetherball at the Beehive, and it feels like 50,000 <laughs> bees are swarming in the theater. It's pretty intense. I saw, yeah, the, I like the, the high five in the trailer. Oh, that like, works. Hey, high five, man. And then <laughs> yeah. It's about a five foot five. Uh, five five and, and smacks. I can't remember who it smacks in that. Yeah, that that completely wipes Bam off his feet. Yeah, yeah. we got actually the whole cast with it. it just in the trailer, it's Bam, but we got more than that high, with that high five. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was great. We just picked them off one by one. Yeah, I did ask uh, some questions for people, listeners that didn't have a chance to get through and ask you a question. So, can you name all of your injuries in a minute without stopping? No. Okay. <laughs> I can tell you generally. You know, uh, lots of breaks and sprains and concussions. And in this movie, I did. Uh, I had a uh, one concussion, whiplash, stitches in my hand, dislocated shoulder. But uh, oh, and then I guess my my number one injury from a few years ago. I broke my penis trying to backflip a motorcycle. I, you, yeah, the yeah. I mean, that's people don't realize you can do that, right? You can. You can break your penis. Yeah. Oh, you can. <laughs> I uh, the handlebar went up twenty feet in the air and came down and broke the handlebars off in my crotch. Oh, was that was that where it went straight up and the guy said not to let go of the motorcycle and then you let go and then it comes down. <laughs> yes, and that's, <laughs> Travis Pastrana told me he was telling me how to do it beforehand, but I wanted to do the stunt so bad that I wasn't listening. I was just like, mm-hmm, yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, I was just hoping he would be shut up, but he, I sh- he's the best. Uh, guy oh, in the world. Oh, yeah. I should have been all ears. Well, <laughs> you know? The problem starts with the fact that you can't even ride a motorcycle straight. Yeah. Much less get it up in the air, you know? So Yeah, it'd be one thing if you were an accomplished motorcycle rider first. Or yeah. at least even just able to, you know, ride it down a driveway <laughs> and, you know, into the street. Travis let out the clutch for me every time because I couldn't do it. And the first time he let it out for me, I drove 10 feet and just pile drive right into the ground. I don't know how. I didn't hit anything. I just <laughs> fell off right into the ground. <laughs> So, um, how do you guys like? That's probably a typical question you get. But what do you do? Just sit around and then let's do this, let's do that. Like, how does he, how do you come up with that? How do you brainstorm that? Well, much. Jeff Jermaine obviously and Johnny Knoxville in the studio. Yeah, uh, Jeff and I have shared office for ten years. So, like, wh- whenever we think of an idea, whether it's night or first thing in the morning, we'll come into the office and go, "Hey, well, what do you think about this?" And he'll go, well, "That's good. Why don't we do that?" And it's just we're throwing stupid ideas back and forth. Yeah, because I was thinking. I'm trying to, I was trying to think back to all the shows and the movies, and I can't remember exactly, but I mean, have you ever pulled off a prank 
and then someone really got pissed and just beat the crap out of. I mean, you guys. Yeah. Have, I mean, but there's one in my head. I think from either two or one of the shows. Oh, I can't well, remember. yeah. It's uh, well, Chris Pontius was uh, being a devil downtown <laughs> L.A. and he had a sign that said "Keep God out of California." And this born again Christian took his sign away and broke his sign and just starts beating the hell out of Pontius. <laughs> Punched him a few times, and it's funny because Pontius is in. He's super strong, Pontius. But we we would never fight back in that uh, instance. Right. But he had on he was in a, a full devil outfit, so he had little booties on, and he couldn't get any leverage. In uh, <laughs> so good. Jack, now, I haven't even said it yet, but Jackass 3D comes out. It's two weeks, so it's not this weekend. It's October 15th, the release date. So how yes. long does it take you to prepare for a stunt? Do you, do you think of something and then it takes you, you know, you have to prepare for it so long, or are you just improv it and just see what happens? Well, we, always, we saw what happened both. with the motorcycle bit, obviously. <laughs> he didn't, didn't listen. That happens both ways. We, we'll shoot for two weeks, go off for two weeks, and in that two, uh, time we'll plan the next two weeks. So we, we have an idea what we want to shoot, but sometimes... We'll just be, uh, like it rained once in Westchester, and Jeff and I had all this stuff planned outside, and then we're like, well, we can't do that. What do you want to do? And we decided to uh, get all the cast, put them at a table, and hand them crazy glue. <laughs> and that was the only idea. I would just say that preparation isn't our strong suite. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah it's a little, spontaneous. A little behind the scenes. The next movie will be behind the scenes, black and white, like if you guys working out the bits and stuff like that. Not actually the bits, but just working them out. You see us on camera working out. Yeah, the bit. I know. You know. It's like, that's how it goes down. <laughs> like, yeah. A lot of little, little uh, stick figure drawings, like... You know, crudely you drawn. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know if you heard this clip about this. I don't know if Steve O was being interviewed just like a couple days ago when he said this. You guys know how the, the Johnny Knoxville pulled an intervention on me? <laughs> Anybody know that? <laughs> yeah, he did. It's a real indicator that you might have a serious drug problem when Johnny Knoxville's <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard him say that yet or no? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So how'd that go down the intervention with Steve O? Uh, he was in a bad place, man. Yeah, a really I, bad place, and we just, you know, everyone was concerned. And finally, Jeff and I got on the phone, and we we're like, we, we can't allow this anymore. We gotta go get him. And then yeah. uh, I contacted Dr. Drew and asked, got a game plan. And then I got, we got the game plan, and Jeff and I got eight or nine of his friends, big guys. <laughs> said, Steve, oh, you're going. We're putting you. Uh, we're taking you away. You know. Yeah, we just get, rounded rounded up the troops, and you know, and and. Look, he made it a comedic bit, but really, it's true. Like for us to get involved, you really do have to be hitting, you know. Yeah, that's what that I was gonna store, say. You know? What is the line with so, you guys? Oh, wait a minute! Now when, we got to get involved. When that, he was days away from death, according yeah. to Doctor Drew, like yeah. And, and I'm like, well, Steve-O, we're taking you away. It's done. And he's like, No, man, I ain't going nowhere. And I, Steve-O, if you don't want to go, I've instructed everyone here to knock you out and take you. Okay, I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know what it is? It's when the spirit changes. Like, uh, we all party and, you know, have fun. But when it's not fun and, and the spirit's yeah. missing, that's when it became time to kind of step in and do something about Before it. Before someone died. Yeah. Which is, you know, was, I mean, seriously. It was getting dark, you know. It was getting into Doing this. gnarly drugs. Yeah. Like, uh, like 600 whippets a day and, <laughs> yeah that's crazy oh PCP and just what uh, just the worst stuff <laughs> because obviously tolerance has been built up with you know what you guys do yeah, it, was, yeah. I mean, it, it was when he started rapping that i thought we really needed <laughs> to this game. yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's the time to step in when, when he starts rapping oh, he's man. a rapper now jeff did not like his rap music i thought it was genius jeff is a hater on it <laughs> but uh but he's awesome steve o was uh celebrating his second year being sober on the set and it was by far his best movie. He went completely off the yeah, record. We, we couldn't be more proud of him. I mean, he he proved that he can be as big and a bigger idiot without the drugs. And yeah, because a lot of times, like the funny fat guy in a movie gets skinny. He's not funny anymore. Yeah. You know, isn't so, that the truth? He, yeah. So <laughs> Jeff's been using that as an excuse for years. What? Whoa. Wow! Whoa. Holy cow! Like wow! <laughs> Is this thing on? <laughs> I've been getting funnier and funnier. <laughs> well, we do have a director, Jeff Remain, and Johnny Knoxville. I thank you guys so much for stopping by. You got a bit, I, see, I heard you were at Tempe Marketplace last night, did a yeah. thing out there. And anything else about the movie you want to throw out there I haven't mentioned about Jackass 3D October 15th? It's the best one for sure. Like, it, even it's the if best. It, even if it was 2D, it would be the best one, but the 3D just kicks it over the top. You know? See, I usually like watching it like after it's already out because I, I really have to skip over some of the stuff where my throat starts to contract when you guys do some of the things like with the, spa the, the helmet at the farting in the helmet and the puke in the right, helmet. Right, right, right. I seriously, I, my throat, I was, I was like, ugh, ugh. So, this is the best one ever. Thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Jackass 3D, October 15th. On 93.7.